All right, so you've been playing guitar for decades. You're a good player. You've been in many, many bands, and yet you feel really frustrated. You feel frustrated because you're no longer progressing. Everything you're doing on the guitar are things you have been doing for the last 10, 20, 30 years. Now, there is a really good reason for that and a very simple fix. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do to start progressing again. First of all, you're not alone. I've been there for many, many years until I reconnected with an old high school friend, Richard. And so Richard and I started playing guitar together in high school. And at the time, there was this friendly, healthy competition between both of us, and we'd both progress at the same time. I'd learn a lick, I'd show it to Richard, he'd learn it, he'd come back, enhance it, I'd learn it, and we just kept progressing that way. Now, after high school, we both lost touch, until our 20th year high school reunion. Now at the time I was 37 years old, had a job, had a career, and although guitar was still a big part of my life, I had stopped progressing. And I was really excited to see what had become of my good old friend. I show up to the place, recognize some familiar faces, but Richard was nowhere to be found. I look everywhere, and the whole evening, nothing. And then I pay attention to the house band. See, there was a band in the background. They were playing classic rock stuff, instrumental, kind of in the background. And there he was. Richard was on stage, and he was really good. He was playing some stuff that I wasn't able to do. So we connect later that evening, and we start talking about our lives and guitars. And so I tell Richard about my frustration, that feeling that I'm just no longer progressing and just kind of going off the things that him and I had been learning in our late teens. And that's pretty much all I've been doing. Now, the first reason I was no longer making progress is pretty obvious time. And not that they're bad things. As a matter of fact, I think they're more important things than guitar. You know, I had a wife, kids, career, responsibilities. And that just meant that I didn't have as much time as I did in my late teens for guitar. Uh, but Richard quickly pointed out that I still had some time to play, you know, when the kids were in bed. And he was right, I did have some time. And during that time, I had the best intent to get better. I learned scales, I learned theory, I learned modes. But the problem is that when I learned all those things, I had no purpose. See, I didn't really know why I was learning those things. Now, I knew Richard had a reason for asking me all these questions. You see, Richard had a fix, and I'm going to share that with you at the end of the video. But then Richard asked me something else. See, Richard asked me what else I did besides learning all these skills. And typically, I'd get into my guitar room, pick up the guitar, throw in a backing track, something I found on YouTube or whatever, and start jamming. And before I know it, uh, here I am playing the same old licks, enjoyable, but the same stuff that I've been doing for decades. And the thing is, when you start getting into the zone, when you start jamming over a backing track, it's really hard to stop, because it's fun. And when you finally do stop, you spend 15, 20 minutes doing the same thing, and, and by now it's late at night and you no longer have time to spend time on the guitar. Now there's another reason I wasn't practicing, and this probably affects you. Here's the deal, you sit in your chair, whatever you practice guitar, you grab it, and then you look for something to practice, probably on good old YouTube. Start looking through a lesson, start practicing it, and then, wait a minute, wh wh what's that? You click on it, you start working on that, and then before you know it, you're watching something no human being should ever watch. All right, so there I was talking to Richard, and I had recognized all the reasons why I was not practicing. Lack of time, lack of focus, too many distractions, old habits. And I asked Richard, what about you? And he told me that I needed to focus on the essential. See, Richard explained to me that with all the things I could practice, only 20% is necessary. And if I can recognize what that 20% is for me and focus on that, my progress would be unstoppable. But the problem is that we're all different as guitar players and my 20% might not be your 20%. But there's a super easy way to determine what your 20% is. And I'll tell you about it in this video. 